Bouncing back from surgery is no easy task, but what if a robot can make an incision so small you barely even notice it? News Channel 5's Kristen Scovira reports the next generation of medical robots are being built right here in Nashville. They come in all shapes. So you can tilt and position this however you need to. And all sizes. So this is a robot that's for sinus surgery. And one day these medical robots could help the surgeons of the future perform minimally invasive procedures that would otherwise not be. So you end up with this thing that looks like a Star Wars uh, turret gun. Robert Webster is a professor of mechanical engineering at Vanderbilt University. He says engineers are problem solvers. Just as though you're playing a video game. They actually spend time in operating rooms, asking doctors what would make their lives easier. And then we put our engineering brains to work trying to figure out like what could we make better for them about the tools that they're using or the information that they're using. Right now, Webster and PhD students like Patrick Anderson are working on a robot specifically for lung surgery. There can be as many of these little needles as you want. Webster says robots like this one are designed to work around a patient's rib cage. So the lung is a really hard area to reach because it's this enclosed cavity. The arms are attached to thin wire-like needles that would allow a surgeon to work inside the lungs without making any large incisions. Uh, and you go home with just a Band-Aid on your chest. That's right, a Band-Aid after lung surgery. Yeah, things are definitely getting tinier. Um, I don't work at the nanoscale. I work at what we call the mesoscale, which is in between. So it's things you can still see with your eyes, but uh, things that are smaller than traditional tools. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. Wow, some of these designs are years away from use, while others are very close to the market. Either way, Webster insists robotic engineering is an industry on the rise.